Hey everyone, what is going on? Raven here. Welcome back. We got two boxes from Mindful Souls open today. Now, Rigio is going to open these two in separate videos, but I thought maybe you guys would want to see them all together. So we're going to do the main box first, which I had a fun time taking the tape off. Then we're going to do the second one that I ordered after. So let's get into this main box. Da, 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 da. Just like that. We've opened a whole new world of possibilities. So this is our cheat sheet. We got our little sticker here, which that's pretty cute actually. Affirmation for career. Wonderful new opportunities are opening up for me to use my unique creative skills and abilities. I like that. And then this is the two extra ones. This month's book, Create a Space Journal. This is a little treasure you can go to anytime you want to reflect on your thoughts and express your feelings. Create creatively. Lucy Irving, an artist, illustrator, and storyteller, brings to life a beautifully illustrated guided journal to keep you company through happiness and sadness, serenity and anger. You can record your most inner thoughts. You can create a safe space for yourself. You can introduce creativity into your life and create a daily self-care routine. I like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, it definitely has a smell to it. These are incense sticks. These are kind of cool. They smell different. Not that that's a bad thing. Ah, the book's on the very bottom. Do not panic. It is there. Here is our first stone. That's actually really pretty. Though there is some minor damage. I don't know if you all can see that or not. There is some minor damage, but... You know what? We're going to be fine and see what happens until the very end. Our first bracelet has come in. Look at that. Oh, I love the way it's sparkling. That's really pretty. I've never seen one of their bracelets sparkle like that before. That is a really beautiful bracelet. I think that's my favorite so far. I can't really say out of all of the boxes, but I think that's my favorite thing in this box so far. Oh. Okay. It got a little tangled. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we got a pyramid looking crystal here. We got this crystal down here. Connected to a chain with crystals. That's really pretty. I really can't wait to read what that one's all about. Moving on to the next item. We got a very unique shaped rock, a stone. It's, it's very unique. I've never seen a crystal this shape before, but I don't hate it. I think it's nice to have the different shape crystals. You know what I mean? I think it's a nice thing to have. Okay. We got a necklace. Now, I don't know why the chains always get knotted up. I'm going to have to fix that. But it is overall, like I said, it's, it's knotted here. But other than that, it's a very pretty necklace. Oh, we got another bracelet. This one's uh, the blue one. I, I like this, but I think I like the other bracelet better. Next. Oh, okay. I have something similar to this on my own. It's like a pink. So this is something you can use like if I'm going to read into it actually, because this is part of the main box. This should be a hair comb, and because it's a stone, it actually provides more benefits to you. That, I love this. That is amazing. And our book, 
is all the way down here. Oh, so you can write happy, sad, angry, relaxed, playful, bored, wired, sleepy. So you have something to put. I like this. This is something that anyone could do. I like that. That's a very unique book. Counting sheep. I like that. Okay. So before we go on ahead and go through everything, what we're going to do is we're going to read off this really quickly. So we did get the amethyst stone, which my guess is supposed to be this. Yeah. This is what I think it's supposed to be, but it's not amethyst enough. Well, we'll read what it says anyway. So it's a natural stress reliever. It brings protection and spiritual growth. It reads negative energy while attracting positive energy. This is what I was interested in. This is a pendulum. Now this has calming properties of rose quartz crystal. You hold the small end in your hand, remain very still, and ask a yes or no question. If it moves in a circle, the answer is yes. If it moves from side to side, the answer is no. Let your intuition guide you. When asking questions, try holding the pendulum over your favorite stone or crystal for clear answers. The blue gold stone bracelet. This combines mysterious character and origins with a very practical health benefit. The copper particles suspended in the stone are thought to provide warming comfort and arthritic conditions and ease pain. That is cool. I might have to get another one of these because I actually know someone that's dealing with a lot of arthritis. That's really nice. The color of the stone makes it an excellent tool for restoring and balancing the third eye, also called brow or the third eye chakra, promoting intuition and psychic abilities. That's really cool. The raw citrine necklace. This is powered by the sun. It is a stone of light and happiness. It helps bring a clearer mind and more positive outlook on life. The Jade Hair Comb, used for centuries to stimulate blood circulation, promoting new hair growth. This holistic beauty treatment will leave you feeling relaxed. Combining massages, all of the acupoints on the head, which regulates excitement and inhibition in the cerebral cortex. Regulating your body's meridians can be good for your overall health and can be achieved by this combing technique. I like that. And then the Nag Champa Incense. This is enjoyed by millions. It's the most popular Indian incense in the world. It is a hand-rolled blend of flowers, spices, and resins. The natural ingredients, herbs, resins, and masala are blended into perfection to create a soothing aroma. I like that scent, actually. And we did get two more items. So the Azurite bracelet. Bring the Azura blue hues of Azurite stone into your daily life to nourish your mind and soul wherever you go. Whenever the mundane gets under your, your skin, Azurite can rekindle a sense of wonder, charge you with a lively energy, and bring new ideas you hadn't thought of before. You can use it on the go whenever you need help from your spiritual guides. So wear daily, journaling, protection, etc. The raw pink opal crystal, which I think is supposed to be this. But, you know... Nurture of love, emotional balance, and inner peace. Matters of the heart aren't always easy to handle. But this is what the raw pink opal crystal is for. To soothe and tone your soul to the calming vibrational frequency of the gemstone. It is also known as a peppermint candy stone. It helps you focus on sweet or positive side of bittersweet experiences. And memories as you navigate the ups and downs. The past and future of your life. I, I do like the explanation. But... I'm going to go over my thoughts at the very end. So next up, we have this spare, the secondary box that I did order. So, oh dear. Oh, oh, that's how we're going to be today. Okay. Okay, here's one. I hope. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Okay. So this is one of the stones I ordered. Wow, it's really pretty. I was hoping these would have been a lot taller. I was really hoping, sorry. I was really hoping this was going to be a lot bigger. But I still, I don't hate them, you know? I really don't hate them. Here is the little elephant I ordered. Now, these are all crystals. Look how gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I think this is another one of these ones I bought. Okay. I do get why they wrapped them like this. So, slightly annoying to open. Okay. So, I think this is supposed to be the hedgehog one I ordered. I do wish that the stone covered the entire base, but it's still really cool. Still really cool. Here's another item. I'm trying to open it as best as I can for you all to see. Here we go. Oh, this one I was excited to see. Look how cool that is. That looks really neat. Although, Again, it almost looks like it's damaged. I don't know if that maybe this is just how this one's supposed to be because it has this area open here and it has this here. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you think this is a damage or not because there's nothing else in there with it. Two items left. Okay, we got another necklace. And of course, it's always, always, you know, knotted up. No matter, almost every time I get a necklace, I'm almost always having to try to fix it. But I'm not going to be able to right now. This looks almost the exact same as this. So, I don't know why that is the case that kind of irks me a little bit that they're the same exact thing but and here is the turtle okay really cool so instead of just talking about the whole thing I'm going to show you guys the things I like the most for the main box this is definitely one of those things I love the sparkles and the light. I like that. I like the smell of this. You can smell it through the box. It is pretty strong. And I like the idea of this. However, I don't necessarily do this type of thing. But it's really cool. And I also love this from the main box. Now... The only reason, and of course, I love the book. I definitely love the book as well. But, you know, the only reason I don't love this is because I feel like this isn't dark enough. But I love Amethyst, so I think it works very well. This, I think, was my least favorite. While it's cool and it has amazing properties, I just think it looks really, oh, really funky. I mean, I'll keep it. The necklaces are, like, look at that. Like, this is literally knotted to the extreme. The two necklaces are very, oh, yeah, see? This one's not knotted as bad, but it still is very knotted. So I'm going to try to ease that apart without ripping it. Now, from the secondary box, I love these two figurines. I think that they are stunning and gorgeous. I love those. And while I really like this, I wish it was bigger. You know, like, I was hoping it was going to be, like, this big. And instead, it's... It fits in two fingers. 
I was hoping it'd be like as big as my hand. This necklace, I think I ended up probably giving to my mother or my mother-in-law, one of the two. Maybe I'll give my mom one necklace and my mother-in-law the other. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Just because I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to wear them. But I might keep them just because they are crystals. This I'll probably give to my mother as well. Because while I like it, I feel like, again, the crystal should go all the way around the base. And I think this should be bigger. I think that this damage should not be here if it's, if it's damage. But other than that, I like this as well. So, let me know what you guys think of these two unboxings from Mindful Souls in the comment section down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.